existing IO that we have created. So in the previous video, we have covered how to create display. Then I'll be covering video in this video. On video, we'll be selecting the insertion order that we have. Then we'll go to video. Okay, so I'll create the name as test. So quality, public inventory, deal packages, deal groups, everything remains same as we have in display. Same brand safety, whatever is being said, default environment. So onto the environment part here. Uh, so on apps, we have different formats of videos that are supported. So that is also applicable in terms of web. We ha also have different targeting which are available. Then same category genesis we have position. So in position, so this will completely change as compared to the video line that we're creating now. So that would be above the fold below the fold unknown that is the normal that we have for display but this is for video right now and then we have what kind of position you are putting your ad into so is it a pre-roll ad mid-roll ad or post-roll ad so pre-roll signifies that the ad would be running before the content starts so when you are on youtube you see a video which plays before the video starts as a pre-roll something which are being played in mid or mid-roll and which is playing at the end is the post-roll video but you have selected all of these so your video might appear anywhere in the video segment so that is varies on website to website where the video is being served so just make you understand video ads will not be like to be shown on youtube uh, inventory so these are to be shown on all inventory which are like on your times of india hindustan times all the videos which are being played all those players which have traffic those kinds of video ads then we have uh, videos are into articles and in feed interstitial banner and other formats which are not being recognized by dv360 but are available in some other kind of inventory say floating ads there that has very small video size clip so floating ad is something a small box on the right hand side or left hand side anywhere on the website that keeps on floating even if you scroll, change pages, everything. So that is a floating ad or any other similar inventory that we have. Okay, and then we have viewability. So viewability also plays a very important role in the video as well as we have 60, 70, 80, 90. So it would be have better viewability. So better the chances of video being getting traction. So. Then we have language so that plays the same role okay so then we have video so this is different as compared to the targeting that we have done in display so in this what kind of player size are you looking forward to so that is a small size where the size is not known small that can be 400 to 300 that is based on the, your video format if it is small size on the right hand side usually that i see on the news websites large player is uh, if a website is hosting their own videos and they are paying it say a news website or a blog website so that that can have large videos then hd videos is definitely the most premium inventory that we can target then we have live stream and on-demand tvs or uh, on-demand players majorly so on demand players on those kinds of inventory. So this is quite premium and that can be specific for your niche. So if you're doing some kind of advertisement on live stream, so that can be for a very different. So this is all optimization kind of parts where you specifically see which is better for you to run on which platform. And then we have a video duration. So this is not in reference to our video. Even if our video creative is of 30 seconds. And we just want to show or add on videos which are of three minutes. Say a news video is running where the video size is three minutes or four minutes, five minutes. Only on those videos we want to show ad and then we'll just exclude this. Or maybe we don't want to show on long content. So I'll just exclude majorly the kind of targeting that you'll do is you'll exclude long content when you're doing video targeting because long content on any third party website, the user might get lost and the viewability 
would be there, but uh, traction might be lost because they are seeing something which is have a longer hook. Then user rewarded content is same. The apps which provide that audience list, daytime demographics, browser devices, connection speed. So connection speed also plays an important role here uh, as compared to display because in this usually it doesn't work in major uh, part of the world, but still the feature is available so you can explore it based on uh, what kind of video for video ads you will not if your video is an hd video you will not want your users to be viewing it on a capacity of say basic dsl or a 3g kind of a setup this can be in case if a user is traveling and that is having loan bandwidth at that time so that is a scenario that i look forward to Then carrier ISP, so that directly depends on what kind of targeting you have. So all those ISPs are available. Then we have same dates, if you, date option, which is either you want to keep it same as of I or you want to change it to the date as for the line item. So that is as per your media plan, how you are planning. So some lines can have different dates, some lines can have date same as of insertion order so that is how it works then budget and pacing so if you want to target a very specific budget for say video we have two lines in a same setup uh, display the io budget is 200 dollar display you want to give because the cpm is high and you want to give 150 dollar to display sorry video and 150 to remaining 50 dollar to display that is uh, fine to be targeted if you are looking forward to reach similar kind of people then we have the same bidding options which are available for then uh, these are the major differences like maximize viewable impressions maximize viewable for at least 10 seconds so these are based on the video that we have then frequency cap so frequency cap can be say uh, what usual set is five per week that is fine five per week frequency cap if we have a frequency cap which is limited to io so that would also work so the best idea of creating the best scenario when we have display video line in a single io is if we have a frequency gap and io of two and display an item have already reached those users so video line item will not spend on the similar user showing the video so that is one of the scenarios that you can use if you cap impression level at IO. Then same assigning creatives. So that would be a list of creatives which you have already uploaded and you can select them and assign them. I'll just try to show it up. Okay, so here you can select the creatives and directly apply. So these creatives have the type as videos status is servable so this these are fine to run this is kind of being approved so they are approved and on the other exchanges like it is approved on google ad manager so all the supply that we are getting from google ad manager so that would be fine but if any supply that is being delivered through zender that will not be able to serve because that is not approved from zender and then this video is rejected so even if you assign this video so it will not serve on the campaign. So as we have in Google ads or uh, Meta ads, so we don't get our campaign rejected. We don't get ad sets rejected. It's just the creators which are rejected. So <clears throat> this is rejected. This might be because of the end date has gone of the uh, CM tag. So that's why it would have been rejected. Then we are selecting a conversion tracking. So to optimize your campaign, uh, if it is a purchase campaign, lead gen campaign, so you can select the pixel <laughs> that is floodlight here to assign and optimize your campaign that at this is a my primary parameter or this is my primary goal to achieve in this campaign. So that needs to be selected and just for your optimization purposes. Then we have attribution model, then a conversion counting. So conversion counting is very different in programmatic environment. 
so in programmatic environment we have two type of conversion uh, tracking so one is post click and one is post view so in post view it is not people who have viewed the website or viewed the landing page so it is basically who have viewed the ad but have not clicked on it and had gone directly say you see a sneaker ad of say a brand nike and then you just view it and after viewing that ad you go to google and search for nike.com and go to nike so in that scenario that conversion if you purchase that would be counted as post view but you have viewed it and the impression tracker have taken the cookies that similar user have landed on the website in this this much window so that is post view conversion and post click as you are already must be aware of it so that is when you click on the ad or visit directly once after clicking on the ad so that would be post click and then we have different kind of fees that we can apply on it as for agency purposes majorly and uh, we have media fee so media fee can be something if you are using third party tool of impression tracking or majorly for optimizing so we can just select from list or what kind of tool is being used and that can be activated using the fees that would be deducted from dv360 so that would be one of the major thing that you can use here integration code is that would be for your api uh, reporting purposes and then simply you can click on create and boom that will start your camp line item setup for video so in the next video we'll be covering further uh, parts of what kind of line items we can create thank you have a nice day bye